here with you and you might be hearing piano in the background my son is practicing so I wanted to pull out uh, to to put a video out um, because I fell into the rabbit hole of my um, fountain pens again and so I wanted to share with you uh, some swatching because I'm realizing that I don't have uh, swatches for all my inks and I don't want to double uh, purchase an ink that I already have and so yeah so that's what I'm about to do so to pull to do my swatches I've pulled out the beautiful Alex glass um, glass pen that had been gifted to me by Kimberly a lot of the stuff you'll see uh, I got uh, from Kimberly she was she's really spoiled me so so yeah so I've got that um, beautiful pen glass pen to do this I've also pulled out um, I had this in a calligraphy set and it's a broad nib so that uh, I can swatch with it I thought I just saw somebody do that and I thought that was a great idea because I usually use a paintbrush but I think this is going to be better for this and before I go into what I'm using and why um, the reason I fell back into the rabbit hole is because my dad offered me this a wonderful gorgeous fountain pen from Cross it's called uh, it's Wonderlust design and it's the antelope which is the beautiful orangey uh, color and it's just a stunning stunning pen whoops wrong wrong thing it's just a pull you just pull on it and so I've got this beautiful pen and I really want to use it however it doesn't come with a converter so you have to use the cartridges so I ordered the converter and I'm still waiting for the converter to arrive before I ink this up um, so I was watching some beautiful some uh, videos from uh, a fountain pen uh, lady that that just love loves loves uh, fountain pens and um, I was uh, she she showed an ink that would have been wonderful with this beautiful pen uh, it's an ink that's uh, from the Netherlands however so uh, not available here which is really unfortunate because it would have been perfect for this beautiful pen I'm just checking because I dropped it just before and I'm seeing a little black spot but it's in the design it's not uh, I didn't uh, I was I, I don't know how it fell but I was so upset so it seems to be fine so the design is just gorgeous 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 and I can't wait to have some ink in it to play with it so that really got me thinking about my inks my uh, watercolor pens because I haven't been uh, using them recently and so I decided to clean them all out and to re-ink uh, some of them with my favorite inks and then uh, so that I could just play so right now um, my the pens I've got I also purchased this uh, a moon man um, pen because I just fell in it came with this box so it has different types of nibs it's a drop uh, you you drop fill it which was the first time I've you I've had this um, but I just fell in love with the design because and it's a really affordable pen I got it on Amazon so really inexpensive but I just love the 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 design the turquoise type of uh, uh, abalone uh, it's a fake fake abalone but it's still beautiful and it has a little gem here and the reason for the gem is so that it stops the pen from rolling and I decided I wanted to have an ink that was going to be a uh, black that I could actually use for for uh, writing in my journals uh, but that would be waterproof uh, so that's what I decided to use in here and this ink is from Pilot and I will show it to you guys because I haven't swatched it yet um, so I will be swatching it for you guys uh, 
I'm just trying to see if I've got a, a little pad. So I've got a big pad here, but I've got a little pad here. So uh, this is this is the the moon men, and I don't I don't know if it's if it's me, but it it does. I have trouble sometimes with it skipping. Um, but I don't know if it's the ink. The, um, I've had a lot of trouble finding an ink, a black ink that would be that would be bulletproof. I had the noodlers, but I found that the noodler one was blocking my pens and I couldn't get the pens to work properly with it. So I just I stopped um, I stopped using it for that and now I have the bottle sitting on my desk to use as um, uh, more as to color or to use in, in journals and stuff but not not as an ink to put into my fountain pens um, I'm trying to find uh, where it is because it should be on my desk uh, and it can't be that far and I'm not seeing it so I don't know where it went oh there it is it's this one here and I really didn't like it it's the noodlers back ink and uh, I, I really really hated it with a passion so not good luck at all so I watched different reviews on um, pen and to see which ink would be good and I found a pilot one so so I've got this one that I'm gonna be using in in journals so technically I should actually leave this pen here it's in one of those um, little pen pockets that uh, I had purchased used and uh, I really love this it's it's really it's really stunning I love leather um, if you follow me at all you know that so I, I really love the feel of le leather. I love how it ages. I, I, I'm just crazy about it. Um, and then in this little crazy uh, horse, this is from um, Gallon Leather. And I've got uh, a Platinum Plaisir um, pen. And this one has uh, brown ink, I believe. And it's leaking. So, this one has uh, some brown ink, and I believe this one is the G Urban Urbe, um, ink, but we shall see in the, um, so this is the, the yellow, and I try to match my pens with the colors I'm using, um, <laughs> I'm crazy like that. Um, then I've got this beautiful little pouch and an old five pens so I've put the ones that I really wanted to play with so I've got this one here which is another uh, platinum plaisir but it's a pink pink ink uh, that that's in it and if I'm not mistaken it's the Lamy uh, pink that I have put in in this one and uh, and I love this little pouch. It also co so comes from Gallon Leather. It was also a gift, and it goes with with uh, what's holding my journal. And then I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous Monte Grappa pen that has a big skull on it and little skulls all over here. And this one, uh, I always forget the ones that are twist and the ones that are not. Um, I, I think this might be gray or brown. I'm not sure anymore. Oh, actually. It's actually a black. But it's not the new black that I have. It's another uh, black. It's not the new one yet. This one is not waterproof, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we could actually try and see. Let's use a cheap brush. I've got a little bit of water. And you can see that it's definitely not waterproof. It just completely... Um, 
smudges so that's why I really wanted another one um, and then I've got this one here which is a purple I'm not mistaken this one was also a gift um, this is the purple um, pilot metropolitan um, pen and this one has purple ink and it's one of my favorite um, purple ink actually that I always put in this pen so I've got that and then I, I purchased uh, a few years I think maybe a year ago over a year ago uh, when I was really into pens I purchased this Co uh, Coughlin it's a uh, Duraflex it's a limited edition uh, for the 4th of uh, July and this one I believe I put blue yeah I put some blue ink in this one and this was my first time inking it so I wanted to play with it and then I've got my platinum uh, vanishing point and this one is also always 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 with the teal um, from G urban and I just love 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 this color it has some gold in it some gold flecks and I just I, I can't get enough of that color so I always ink this pen with it and I write a lot in my journal um, my journal has been filled basically with with that color recently I did use some of the blue uh, as you can see because I was having issues with um, actually this was with my my pen but I was having issues after I filled it up um, and then I ran out of ink so I used the the Cochlin with the blue um, but this is this is a journal that I feel um, it's just kind of a I, I read the artist way and um, in the artist way one of the things that they mentioned is journaling at the beginning of the day and just putting on paper whatever is coming through your mind and this is a great way to get all those um, things out of your mind and uh, I find that I have a lot better day if I do that so that's what that journal is about and then I've got my Twisby Echo and this pen I had lost a part at one point and I couldn't get it to work properly so I had bought a Twisby Echo uh, pink but then I washed another I found the piece and so now I'm able to use it however I lost the little wrench that goes with it um, but because I bought another one I've got the the other one so um, I'm quite happy with with this one uh, this is the Twisby Echo and it, it it's um, the I think it, they call it a demonstrator because it's the fact that it's clear and you can see the ink through it and this one also has the, the teal um, the emerald uh, emerald color uh, so I really love that that color so and this pen like it will just continue writing like it, it it's really a workhorse um, and uh, even if you don't use it for a little while uh, you have no problem with it so so that's what's going on with these uh, now what I really want is to like I said to start um, doing a journal with and I've, I've pulled out this little journal uh, which is a traveler's notebook uh, and I love those covers it's it's a leather cover as well and I'm gonna swatch uh, some of the, the the colors I had swatch as you can see the Lamy uh, vibrant pink and the, the I think this is the one that was in the um, Monte Grappa pen uh, which is the, the Teke Sumi uh, pilot um, and uh, so I want to continue doing this in this book so we'll just pull out the book because it's going to be easier that way and I just noticed I've got two elastics um, for further if I want to put further page in, uh, books in, in this I need to purchase more of these uh, travelers notebook little um, binders I have other ones but they're not not as good for um, for inking uh, things like this 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 really this is a great paper you can see that um, there is ghosting on the other side but not that much now my inks my ink bottles I always keep 
in this here which is a little fishing box and so all my ink supplies are in here so I've got um, some converters and I just realized that I've got some platinum converters which are going to be perfect because I just I just did a big purchase I, I've been watching Goulet pen and um, I fell in love with one of the pens that they were mentioning um, oh yeah this this one here I purchased that was the last pen I had purchased when I was really into um, pens big time I had purchased this from um, Goulet pen and, and you can see it hasn't been inked uh, this one is a pilot Prira and it came with some inks uh, which is one of the reasons I had purchased this one so I've got my syringe which I use sometimes to fill my my inks I've got the Windsor and Newton inks I haven't had much success with these um, my dad had given them to me because it's a, a sampling but I really don't like them so I don't really use them and I should probably uh, just pull them and uh, use them for um, for art making instead of using them for um, the rest um, yeah, I just want to make sure that I pull out my drawer enough so that uh, I don't get into trouble so you'll see that some of my favorite inks I love shimmery inks um, so I've got a lot of diamine and uh, I've got a lot of the the um, uh, GB uh, G Irvine, I think that's the the. And I've got a lot of them, and unfortunately, I don't have the colors with them. So I'm gonna have to go and and get the colors because otherwise that's not gonna help. So I've got the whole set color, um, the whole series for the 60, the 60, 70, and I know this one is the emerald, uh, that's for sure. Um, so I've got that old series, and the other, and, uh, yeah, so I've got that entire series, and I really want to get into, I really want to get a beautiful purple that they have, but it's not in, it's in the next series. Um, these have gold flex, the gold, the, like, a little bit of gold in them, whereas the other series is actually um, into, um, am I going to be able to say the world, Sil silver. And they do have another series now that has uh, silver and gold. Um, however, I can't seem to find them on, on Amazon or on anywhere, uh, so I will have to wait, I guess, for the, those ones and um yeah so i'll be right back okay so i printed the information from the jaca herbin uh, line of uh, inks and basically i've got the entire series of the the 1670 because i just love the gold in them um and now we can actually use it and do the swatching and see and I think I'm going to skip pages because I don't want it to uh, go on this side. Like I don't want the the, the other ink to go through, um, if it makes sense. So my favorite, favorite, favorite of them all is this one, which is Emerald, Emerald de Shiva. And I just love that. And I realize that I've got the previous bottles. But now they've got the name, which is a lot smarter, actually. <laughs> and uh, it should have been that way, I guess, from, from the start. But anyway, um, I'm thinking I'm going to pull out all my little inks. And then I can put them back as uh, I'm swatching them. It might be easier than doing the opposite. So let's uh, put these out. And this one, this one is my favorite purple. It's from uh, Diamine. Okay, so we've got all the inks that I actually use in my fountain pens out. And we can get going. So this one, like I said, is the Emerald de Shiva. And it's a beautiful turquoise type of color. And I use it all the time. Like, by all the time, I really mean all the time. I'm not sure if you can see the 
the um, the flex in it, but it's it's oh, but I didn't shake it either, so that doesn't help because you need to sh shake it because the gold uh, deposits itself at the bottom. So this is my beautiful turquoise. I'm just gonna clean it off so that I don't put it in the next ink that I use. And uh, I'm gonna try with the with the pen. I really love the writing with these pens. I really want to get better um, at writing and uh, with uh, with pens in general, but uh, you know, calligraphy and that sort of thing. But it comes with practice, and and I'm having fun, which is the main thing right now. Because let's be honest. It's 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 a curious time. So you want to be happy and you want to do stuff that bring you joy, and um, and not pain and not uh, and this is what brings me a lot of joy at the present time. And I'm trying to find uh, why can't I find my regular pen? Like I've got a pen that I use all the time. Ah, there it is. So this is the Serie 1670 Jacques Herbin. So this one, like I said, is my favorite favorite of them all. And if I turn the bottle over, you can see the gold at the bottom. So if I had shaken it properly, uh, it would have mixed in the like it would mix in the ink and then and then you got more of the gold but even though that there's the gold in it um, I find that it writes really beautifully and and it doesn't clog up my pen so that's a really good thing then we've got um, one this one I really like as well this one is the gray and it's called Gris Orage and uh, let's shake it up because you can see the gold at the bottom so let's shake it up haven't used this one in a little bit the thing is I, I really love these inks however they're um, not they're not waterproof so obviously uh, if you put any water, which was great when I'm sometimes I was making faces with inks uh, just for the fun of, of um, uh, using water after uh, to make the, the to make the, the the colors pop So you can see when you drag it out It's more gray not black and because I shook it you can see the gold specks in it so if I bring you down I'm not sure if you'll be able to see catch it but there's little gold specks in it um, which is what I really love with this because it shimmers and I love shimmering inks. I'm just a sucker for shimmer, like glitter and all that sort of girly stuff. Uh, it just makes me happy. Uh, so we're back to the what makes you happy and that's something that makes me very happy. So this is Gris Orage. So Gris Orage. So gray, stormy gray. Since I have a lot on my, I put a lot more this time around, I guess. 
like I said I don't I haven't used my glass pen in a while so I need to start using it more you can see you can get all kinds of different shades like the, the more pale to the the darker one so this is the gray one which is really beautiful as well and then uh, we've got uh, this one which is Caroupe de Chivre and this is a, a brown you can see all the gold at the bottom and this one I don't use all that much and I should because it's stunning but I don't know I'm less into the browns I guess still see the shimmer but it's not as it's not as shimmery as this one and this one if I had shaken it properly you would have seen like it the, the how much shimmer it gives off so this one that has a complicated name it has Capob the ship I don't know how they see it in English. Mm, I don't think they do. I think that's what they it's called and that's it. So I need to learn to put a little bit less ink on it so I hate wasting so that's cap up the ship and then we have this one which is a gorgeous gorgeous blue and this is uh, bleu ocean uh, if I'm not mistaken yeah bleu ocean and it's it's really beautiful I want to make sure that I've got the gold in it. I, I used this one a lot more initially when I had gotten it and then I kind of stopped a bit. It's kind of a purpley blue I guess you could say. Like you can see the purple in it. It's not a, a blue, blue, um, aqua blue, like, like this one, which is the pilot, the pilot one. You can see that this one is not, it's not, it, it has a lot of purple in it. I'm hoping that the camera can pick it up, but I'm not sure that it does. Okay, and I'm going to try to take a little bit less kind of hard because I don't see where the ink starts so that's why it's uh, makes it a little bit more complicated and you can really see that it's it's more purple it's a purpley blue and now that I've got a swatch I think I'm gonna be using it uh, because I really like that blue, that that purpley blue. It's much different from from this blue. Like it's not at all the same type of blue. And then you've got this one, the last one of the series, which is called uh, Rouge Emetit. So this one is a kind of a blood orange type of color. But it's not called blood orange, unlike the diamond one. So let's uh, try that out. Okay. 
why won't it uh, work? You can see it's a lot, it's more red than orange. You'll see what I mean with the other one. The other one is a lot more orange than red. And that's one of the things I really love about inks is the fact that they're all so very different. And it makes the writing experience so much different. Um, the fact that these are very water soluble makes them relatively easy to clean your pens out. I find. The red. So we've got all of the the series here. Okay, then we've got the I've got some special edition of the uh, Diamine. mine. So this is the 150 years Diamine mine blood orange, and I've got the diamond safari. And uh, and that's it. Uh, no, actually, I've got the tropical green as well from Dye Mine. So you can see when I did it very dark, it actually bled through the whole page. But the other ones, not so much. There's a lot of ghosting, but it depends on how how you know um, how much you write. Um, you can see in the book that. I'm writing in uh, like you can see the the writing behind but um, it's it's not it's not bad I can actually can see here but you can actually write over it and you don't have the, the it's not that bad um, okay so then we're gonna do the diamine uh, 150 celebration and uh, let's try let's start with and these were all shimmery if I'm not mistaken which was one of the reasons why I had gotten these uh, because I really like them the safari is a dark um, green, well, an olive type of green, sorry. As you can see here, if it will allow me to. You see the, it's kind of an olive green. So this one is called Safari. And it's a fun, it's a fun one to write with. And I have um, a pen that's green, similar green to this. So usually when I ink that pen, that's what I put in it. And one thing too that I've learned is to not ink so many pens at the same time because I tend to use one more than the other and then they are all blocked and it's a mess to clean them out. So that's one thing I've, uh, I'm learning through time. This one is a blood orange. I'm just going to shake it to make sure it's mixed up. So you can see that in this one versus that one, there's a lot more orange. It's more of a burnt orange. And 
It's it's uh, it's a blood orange, and that's what it's called. That's one that I, I like to work with as well. And then one that's really fun um, is also the Tropical Green. They're, all the inks are fun, let's be honest. Like I just have fun with, with all my inks. So... And you can see this one is a vibrant green. Like it's really a vibrant green. But there's no, it's really green. Um, doesn't feel like there's a lot of blue in it. Compared to uh, Emerald de Shiva, which has a lot of blue in it. This one is really green. So this one is tropical green. And I'm hoping that you like this, but I mean, if you have to be into liking uh, a fountain pen or working with inks in general, it's once you've fallen into this rabbit hole, if you like journaling, it's it's fun to use different colors. And so that's what happened happens. Um, and then I've got the regular. I'm gonna skip a page. I'm gonna skip the page because the other ones are the diamond reg regular inks. So I don't want to mix up the special edition ones with the other ones. So these are diamond inks and this one is merlot so it's a red like the wine type of uh, of red like burgundy type of uh, you could imagine uh, drinking wine that would be about that color you can tell I like my wine So it is it, a Merlot, uh, which is a type of red wine. So, oops. And I'm, as I said, an amateur at this. Uh, so please, uh, not too much judgment on the fact the way I write or the way I swatch my inks. Uh, like I said, this brings me a lot of joy, and so that's really something that's I wanted to share because it's a passion of mine, but um, I, I don't want the negativity. Um, if you don't like it, move on to another video. Uh, this one is old pink, and I wanted a pink um, ink. But um, it wasn't what I had anticipated, and you will see why. Like it's a bubble gum type of pink. That's what it feels like to me. Versus this one, which is the Lamy vibrant pink, which is more a little bit darker. This really feels like almost neon colored. And so I haven't been using it very much at all uh, because of that. I should probably read better, like more, and look at more swatches before or um, actually purchase samples. But it's 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 hard for me. Like you can you can order from Goulet Pen, and, and they're a fantastic company. And if you're in the U.S., uh, it's wonderful for you. But from Canada, when you've added the shipping and the fact that because there's shipping FedEx, 
um, or UPS, I don't remember which one, but because they're shipping that way, I get customs every single time. And that really adds up to the cost of the um, of whatever I'm, I'm purchasing. So this one here is my favorite, favorite, favorite purple. That's the one I ink. Um, you saw my purple uh, pen, my purple palette pen, and that's what's in it. And it's the Imperial Purple. And I just love, 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 love this purple. Um, this being said, I've been watching somebody called Chris. Oh, I forgot her last name. Um, I just discovered her channel. I will try to remember putting it down below. Um, she did a review of the her favorite inks for um, her 12 favorite inks and she's got she seems to have quite a collection so this is imperial purple and she has a lot of purple ones so I need to check it out because I really love working with purple that's one of the my favorite inks to work with um, and so I really want to check out the ones that she mentioned one of them is from Jacques Urbain and uh, I will tell you the name. I wrote it down. No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't write it down. But anyway, if you watch the the, the um, if you watch, you'll you'll see it. So this one here is my Lamy, um, which is this one, this color that I got from Goulet Pen, and I put the Goulet Pen um, the Goulet Pen card here. And then I got from them this here, which is the black uh, Takesumi. And this, these three came with the pen that I showed you. Um, this pen here. So the Pura pen, it came with these three inks. So it was a gift set. So that's one of the reasons why I got that pen. And then you've got Hiroshi Suku, which is this. And Pilot inks are like really wonderful. Uh, let's be let's be honest. Like they're really good. And then you've got this one, which is uh, also from uh, Pilot, and it's the Hiroshi Suku, the Yama Budo. Yama bu bu Budo, sorry. So they they're all the same um, type of inks, but different names. So those are the those. And then finally, the last one I got, I just got, was my Platinum Carbon Ink in black. So. And. Uh, and this is the bottles bottle that it comes in and it's really it's really a dark black and it has one of those little wells things in it is when you pull it you you you're supposed to turn it over and then the reservoir it gets filled up but we've got plenty here to work with. So this is the this is the black. And one thing I'm thinking is that I should show you guys. Where's my piece of paper? Obviously you need to dry it, like you need to give it some time to dry, because if it's completely wet, well, uh, I don't think it's going to be waterproof, but if, if you leave it to dry, so we'll do the, we'll do the scribbling, uh, the scribbling test, and then we'll put water on top of that one. This is just the black. I really 
didn't put much. So, so that's my black. So this is my ink collection right now. Um, I know that there's people out there that have a lot more. Um, I'm not too fond of, of samples because I usually purchase inks that I know I'm going to really love. Um, and most of them, I really love them. It's just that I don't always put them in my pink, in my in my pens. This one is really fun. It's just that it's so bubble gum. You really have to be feeling bubble gum pink in order to to go with it. So it's it's really um, it's really a question of how you feel. But the imperial purple is really I, I love it, and uh, so I really 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 love it. And you can tell the difference between these sampling and this because in here I used a, uh, a water brush to do it. So now that we've got, I think it's pretty much dry. I've got ink all over my fingers, which is usually what happens. So then we can do a little test. And you can see that even though it will drag a little bit. It was probably not completely dry, but you can see that it, it really doesn't move much compared to this one, which uh, even now we'll probably see. Even now they, they totally, you can drag them and they're not, they're not waterproof at all. None of them. But the Jacques Herbin uh, ink even less. So, and the diamond, I know they're not either. So, yeah. Whereas the Moon Man is the, the one I just did. And you can see that there's a bit of ghosting, but definitely not uh, anywhere close to, to this. And obviously this is not uh, the best of papers to work with, but you can see, like, it really doesn't ghost all that much. Um, it doesn't move all that much. So that's why I got that one uh, because I really wanted an ink that would uh, be good for working with in my journals. And at this point, um, the ones that I really want to look into, uh, I've taken notes of some of them and uh, some I'm having trouble to purchase them because they seem to be, they don't seem to be available right now in the places where I shop. Um, and I think because of the COVID situation, it's also harder uh, to get some of them because uh, the there's not as much, the companies are not producing as much as usual. So one of the, the ones that I saw that I really, really want to look into is the uh, KWZ Monarch. It's from the Netherlands and that's the part that's really hard to to get. I did find a company that um, has it in uh, Canada but um, that right now they're closed so I will have to look into it when they're not uh, closed anymore. And one of the ones I really really want is the Jacques Herbin uh, the Vert Atlantic, so it's a, it's a green, but it's, it has the, the the gold and the silver shimmer to it. Um, and another one that was recommended was the Diamine Aqua Lagoon, which is really a blue, a beautiful blue. And one that I just got, I, I just purchased. I found a place in in Canada that had it, um, and it was a reasonable price. It's Graf von Fe Faber, uh, Faber Castell, Stone Gray. Um, so that one I should be getting soon, and I'm looking forward to using that one as well. It seems like a wonderful, wonderful gray. So I will be sharing with you guys the um, the link to the lady that I, I watched, and I would love to know if this. I'm hoping that some of you guys had fun. Uh, watching me do this and um, and I can share with you guys more of my passion of inks in future in, and pens in future videos um, but yeah so that's it for now bye everyone stay safe